Hello dear friends, this is a story about a kitten that I found abandoned near a swamp on the outskirts of the forest. Let me be the first to tell you how I began to help our furry friends. Every day, I would venture into the forest to capture nature on camera. I've been working on YouTube for a long time, filming videos about nature and various events, even weddings. One day, not far from the forest, I came across two abandoned kittens. They were so small that I couldn't leave them there. So I brought them home, fed them and kept them close. Two weeks later, I found them new families. However, a week later, I encountered another kitten, not far from where I found the others. Once again, I couldn't ignore the situation. So I took the kitten with me. I brought the kitten home and took care of it. The kitten was very ill, so I nursed it for a month. Then he recovered and always followed me, even into the forest during filming. To this day, this kitten has been the sweetest and has never harmed anyone, even playing with dogs he meets for the first time and protecting other kittens. And that's how my journey of helping pets began. Later, I created a community for them to find new homes. Some people immediately adopt beautiful kittens, but those who aren't taken remain with me. I have plenty of space for them in my large backyard, where they have their own big house. I never lock them up as shelters do, they roam freely where they please. There's only one problem. They often wander into other people's yards, so I have to chase after them every day and bring them back home. When I bring in new cats, I usually leave them alone in a room until they get used to their new home, and then gradually introduce them to the others. But sometimes they constantly run away from me. Sometimes I have to search in neighboring yards, sometimes even in the dark. Our blind cat was at the neighbors, but they know they belong to me and bring them back. Some even go missing for a week, but when they get hungry, they return because there's food everywhere in my house. I put it out so that they don't wander off. So, dear friends, that's how I started helping our pets. I don't know about others, but we have many abandoned pets. Of course, I can't bring them all home. There are so many of them here as everywhere else. Thank you, friends, for watching our videos. If you're interested, please like and subscribe for new episodes. See you soon.